I think Bran is the best pick here. No Beast Dragon Quill Boy. Yes. For the trials ahead. Okay, we are Bran. We are Murlocs. Another one bites the arcane. Uh, if you look at Tavern One minions, we have following battle cries. Anomaly, Tidehunter, Rock, Pull, Swabby. So it's worth rolling for one of them. Highest chance to triple still happens on one. Yes. You want to hold the second Tide Hunter because together with Brian it creates a triple on the token. So let's stop finding excuses and win. I like Brian more than Jandis. I really like Jandis with Beast and Murlocs, but without both being in, it doesn't feel the best. Hear me out here. I want to sell the rock pool. No, you don't sell the rock pool. You sell the tide hunter, and then you buy tide hunter and rock pool. And now you wait. You could play the rock pool just for temple. Playing rock pool with Brand doesn't matter that much, and we have enough board space. Yeah, yeah. You want to be strong against Rafam. Um. Ideally, you don't sell the rock pool and you don't sell the tide hunter, because if I keep the tide hunter, okay, let me go. You, let me tell you my logic. If I would keep the tide hunter, okay, I would now have two tide hunters. I already consider the token as being tripled. One more tide hunter, I hit the triple. So why did I sell it? Because I also have two rocks. One more rock, I hit the triple. So I just went for the minion that has more stats, and I think that's correct in this situation. I need one battle cry, and then I have a trip. The great part about Brian is that you don't need to play the battle cry; you just buy it, and you already get the minion. The crowd Ooh, no battle cry here hurts. What I could do is buy elemental and roll. I rolled this, which kind of sucks, because now people are going to say missed triple, kick W, but it's not really true. Like, this could have been rock pull, and then I wouldn't have the triple on rock pull. It's fine. The expandable minion is the scout, because I'm one tide hunter away from triple on tide hunter, one tide hunter away from tripling on scout. At this point, I'm just going to sell both scouts. I'm going to sell both scouts and triple on the main body. Basically, all Avengers are in. So, do I go for 4 to take an Avenger, or do I go to 4-5 and focus on Murlocs? I feel like I'm strong enough to tunnel vision on Murlocs. I don't need the Avenge bullshit. Can I buy Selemental and level? No. Zorgo would go for economy 100%. I love it when people think they know what other streamers or pro players would do. It's cute, but you don't. Like, the most hilarious thing would be like when somebody says, I think, I know this player would do this. If that player would actually be watching and they would go like, no, I wouldn't do this play. Your play is fucking shit. It doesn't happen, but it would be hilarious. Thank you, Dresden, for gifting a sub. JJ would have smashed his table. That would be correct. Are you reading chat or not? I mean, what I'm doing right now is like, I'm reading chat once I'm done with my play. Also, if I see too many bad comments in a row, I will not read chat for a bit. But I cannot go without reading chat. I'm not streaming on Facebook gaming. Twitch is all about the chat interaction. The crowd adores you. I like Swolfing a lot as well. Second brand or economy? I feel like we could go for second brand, even though that's pretty stupid. The fact that we hit Swolfin helps us a lot. 
I wonder if we jump to five because we have two brands or if we stay a bit on four. I know it also depends on what we get hit, uh, uh, with, with, with what we get offered next turn. I think I would be f better off not leveling with Primal Fin. Everybody, back on the dance floor. Also, it depends how the next fights go. Like, if, if I lose this fight, maybe I have to stay on four. If I lose this fight and have like powerful opponent next, I cannot level up in that situation, right? I think that is completely understandable. <sighs> oh, tough battle. Let me conjure some mana biscuits. I don't think we can level up here. That's a triple. Here's your reward. I don't want to end on Matron. I like the Bogargal existing. To the twisting never with this one. And yeah, thank you for the advice. Who fed Rafan? Do I level next time and buy the 4 4? If I win this fight and have an okay fight next fight, I will. That's like the main reason to freeze it. It's economy and it's efficient. Troll Stomp, thank you for the 4 months. Thank you so much, appreciate it. What happened to the deck tracker? Uh, starting today, partner I partnered with Firestone, which has um, probably the best uh, deck tracker on the market. I will show you after the game because like that's when it truly comes into play what it's able to do with the post-game combat simulations, where you can actually change the board to see different uh, combination results. And we got the feedback that uh, the the size of like the opponent previous board and like the combat simulations is not large enough and they are going to fix it very soon again if you have any suggestions the team at Firestone is uh, very willing to make the deck tracker the absolute best there is no questions asked so just drop your feedback either in chat to me or uh, on uh, Twitter Bad trades. Oh. Okay, we need to stabilize. The crowd I'm lucky to get that guy fight here. The one thing that I am missing is hovering over cards. Noted. Can you change the positioning of your minions after the game? Yes! That's like the best feature, I think. Or my favorite feature, at least. Is that your new plus one? Let's go to Bagargles. Um, and I'm also going to ask them to add a feature to not only let you change the positioning of your minions, but also add minions that you didn't have on your board to see if they would perform better than minions that you have on your board. For example, I can go, if I lose the game, I can go, what if I sold my brand for a 1-1 one, one Poisonous? Would I win then? And I think that's gonna give like the ultimate tool of improvement. Don't freeze for this shitty Murloc. Is Firestone free? Yes, it's free. But you also have a premium uh, option if you don't want to see ads. But it's completely free. And you can download it with my link to support uh, the stream. So if you want to try it, just download it for free.
with my link. Isn't it considered cheating? No, it's considered so good it could be considered cheating, but it's not cheating. It's compliant with Blizzard's TOS. But yeah, it's that good, you might go like, what the fuck is this? I like for Reaper versus Max. I want my no I want my Bran. I was gonna say I don't want the Nomi. To be honest, I want to get rid of Scout. Nah, you should you should play against Max like this, right? Play one fight like this and then we go uh, gold on the scout. We can gold on the scout and even go to 6 and go for Amalgadons. I think it's time. Should have put the Tide Hunter a bit up front. He has stats. Oh my god, we have 8% to die. Whoops. Us not killing the Baron kind of scares me. Let's stop giving him all these resets. How about that? How about we stop giving him all the resets? Okay. Didn't die, this is fine. The crowd adores you. You're pushing your luck. Not hitting Golden Brand kinda sucks. Swolfin is a triple. I don't need two brands. Two brands are complete overkill. Are you prepared for the trial? Order was correct because otherwise you would just miss a felfin. I prefer to play a felfin with no brand than to not play it at all. Can you visualize other past turns? Yes, it gives you any fight you had this game and you can visualize it. Just download the app and you'll see, it's free. Just try it out. Next time you're playing Balrans, just try it out. If it's not, if you don't like it, unfollow me. Or tell us how to do it better. Or tell me and I'll give the info to the developer. Because I'm not the one developing it. I'm not that smart. Uh, I want to end on Spore here. But against Max, probably Spore is not the best. Maybe we should look for Zap. Does it work for Mac? Unfortunately, it doesn't work on Mac. I will ask the developer if they plan on doing a Mac uh, release. And I'll tell you... I don't want to go... Do you want to go on Magadon first? Nah. 
But yeah, I guess the mech player, I don't like that. I like the zap, though. I like the zap. I love the zap. If Amagadon is trash... Oh my god. It's kind of trashy, though. I kind of want to cut the Dawn for the zap and keep my brand. I'll kick the brand at some point. But I don't have Sephine, so the, the Dawn was trash. Without Sephine. Yo, Bonnie Hopper, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it, Bonnie. Thank you so much, Bonnie Hopper. Hope you had a nice stream. For the Bonnie Hopper viewers that go like, Oh, Belgrans, what is this? I'm gonna be playing some Constructed later, when the expansion comes out. I haven't played since the Grandmaster season uh, was over, so I might be a bit washed up, but... How hard can it be? It cannot be harder than playing against Gabi. Oh, Bunny was playing Balrans as well? Ah! Okay. That's good then. I actually think Zap is good against this guy. I'll kick the brown. I want to keep Zap for this fight. I think it's mandatory that we keep the Zap. Small improvement. Why not kick the Bagargal? Because I like Bagargal. I know, not the best answer. Um, Yeah, it's pretty low attack, very high health, buffs the other Murlocs. I just feel like I don't need Bran anymore, my Murlocs are big enough, I want to transition it to something other than Bran. But yeah, Zap was definitely not a kick unless you could replace it guaranteed. Why do other streamers host you? You are one of the most popular Hearthstone streamers anyways, you don't need the viewers. I mean, that's like saying Jeff Bezos doesn't need extra money. You can always have more viewers. And there's a ton of people ending their streams any moment, not every streamer is hosting or raiding me, some of them are. The same way I'm also trying to spread the love around almost always, like 99% of my streams I'm raiding somebody. Um, other streamers want to do it as well and sometimes I'm the one that gets raided. I'm not sure if buying Bagargal here is useful. Hooktask, I expect to have massive demons by this point. I know I could have cut that. I want Spore. I actually wanted the Spore. Like, if I see a small streamer or somebody just starting streaming recently, that nails it. Perfect gameplay, good commentary, stuff like that. Amazing, I'm trying to help. But some small streamers are just not doing a good stream. So saying that every small streamer deserves a raid is weird. But yeah, I also prioritize raiding or hosting smaller channels. To bring some attention to some interesting people on Twitch. But you have to be careful because like you're in a way responsible. Like not very but in a way. Like if I raid somebody and then he starts playing casino on stream. It's probably not the best idea. And not the best look for me and my sponsors. Ah, what a 
Okay, it's us against the house. Zap Kiri does the first time around. I think he might be better prepared. I'm gonna try to triple the Zap to mess up his preparation even further. I think Four Reaper was good. Are you shaming casino streamers? I'm not shaming any casino streamer. I think it's fine as long as you um, have all the warnings and the disclosures possible and you don't uh, try to scam your audience. But I'm saying that it's not very sponsor friendly to do casino streams on your channel. Like, you might get a lot of money, but other sponsors are not going to like it that much to be associated with that. Anyways, whatever. Um, for Reaper or... I don't know what to roll for. I think I'm legit just going to play double zap if I don't find anything better. So let's just roll. Sefin can be good, but even Sefin is not that good. I've opened a portal full of new... <laughs> Marvelous performance. belongs to you I don't know what I want to do here I really want to triple the zap to like increase my chances maybe buy the selflesses I don't have space to like play the chef there opponent just left oh I guess I could just leave as well 